Every year, WWE manages to find new and creative ways to piss off a good chunk of its fan base in the form of its annual video game franchise. It seems like ever since SmackDown vs. Raw 07, fans have been pining for an alternative, a new kind of wrestling video game experience that's fun, challenging without being too frustrating, and replayable. Five Star Wrestling Regenesis is none of those things. Five Star Wrestling Regenesis is a new game by Serious Parody available for $20 on the PlayStation 4. It's the upgrade slash sequel to Five Star Wrestling which came out on PS3 in March of last year. It was clunky but had very good intentions. While the good intentions remain in this new edition, sadly, so does the clunkiness. Clunkosity? Uh, clunkitude? The characters from the first game return for Regenesis. They're parodies of Kurt Angle, The Rock, Brock Lesnar, Rob Van Dam, Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, Goldberg, and a Dynamite Kid Chris Benoit hybrid. These guys are the loosest examples of parody possible before it goes into trademark infringement territory. Let's get the positives out of the way first. The graphics don't look amazing or super realistic, but I kind of like the cartoony look they're going for here. They're nowhere near PS4 quality graphics, but because it's an independent game, I'm willing to cut them some slack there. There are a lot of subtle nuances to this game that make Five Star Wrestling a much different experience than the typical WWE game. Each wrestler has their own fighting style with different strengths and weaknesses, which makes them excel at some match types, but more vulnerable in others. Each person's moveset is different, and they each have multiple finisher options that are easy to bust out. You can learn a lot about each of the wrestlers by completing the challenge mode, which requires you to meet specific goals in order to unlock more challenges, and earn in-game money to unlock things like new arenas, match types, and costumes. There are face and heel alignments in this game, and you can either play dirty or bulk up depending on what side you're on. Heels can only cheat so often before they're disqualified, which is a nice touch. The AI is competitive and can be customized to your liking, which forces you to be strategic in your matches. Like in the previous game, psychology and storytelling play a huge role in your match ratings. Limb damage has different effects on you and your opponent. The more you focus on a particular body part and the more variety you have in your matches, the higher star rating you get. Now, all those features would make this a great game, but there's one tiny hurdle. The gameplay sucks. First of all, let's discuss the controls. Instead of striking with square and grappling with X like you've done forever, you strike with X, you run with square, and you execute grapple moves by moving the right stick in one of four directions. You get different moves by holding one of the four shoulder buttons before moving the right stick. Now in theory, that control scheme is alright, but you have to spend a lot of time unlearning what you've picked up for more than a decade of previous wrestling games. The learning curve is steep at the onset, but over time you slowly start to get used to it. Thank God for the in-game moves list. I mean, I get trying to branch out and doing your own thing, but seriously, how hard is it for someone to just recreate the No Mercy engine and call it a day? So once you've finally wrapped your head around the control scheme, then you actually have to play the game. The wrestlers handle about as smoothly as refrigerators with Parkinson's disease, hit detection is very spotty, and heaven forbid you end up doing any moves near the apron, because that's when the glitches begin. A lot of the moves can look good in this game, but when they look bad, you notice it. Reversing moves can be easy some of the time, but a nightmare for the rest of it. You usually get a visual cue as to when you can reverse certain moves. The word reverse will be gray for about a half second, then turn green if you get it, or red if you miss it. But sometimes the cue starts out as red without giving you a chance. So either the window for you to reverse it is so fast the human eye can't detect it, or you have no choice but to take the move and the game is just trolling you. The only truly positive thing I can say about the gameplay here is that the submission system is actually fun. It's straight up button mashing, but I'll take that over whatever the hell this crap is any day. There are no weapons in this game, there's no kind of ladder matches, there's no cage matches, there's no create a wrestler mode, and there's no online mode either, which now that I think about it, it's not that bad of a thing. After all, considering how poorly this game handles in real time, just imagine how well it would go with lag. Five Star Wrestling Regenesis devotes so much time in creating this awesome world where psychology and strategy are key, but it's bogged down by sloppy gameplay. I also don't understand the point of these paper-thin parodies of established wrestlers in the game. On the one hand, they're easy templates to build your fighting styles around, but at the same time I feel they could have just as easily created eight new people from scratch. For its impressive ambition but poor mechanics, I give Five Star Wrestling Regenesis two stars out of five. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like it, comment below, subscribe to Wrestling With Regret, and buy the t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.